Y te lo pido bien. David Olivares, y te lo pido. Okay, uh, let's go live. Man, the coffee tastes kind of weird this morning. There's nothing wrong with my coffee. There we go. Good morning, Double R Radio. David Olivares, y te lo pido. What time is it? 8.28. 8.28? Yeah, 8.28 in the morning, man. You're probably going to, no wonder I got two or three messages. Robert, are you going to go live on Facebook or not, Robert, so we can get our day started? I guess I'm, I'm live right now on Facebook. You can stop by and say hello. And I say hello back. And, you know, we'll talk a little bit and do our thing or whatever the case may be. <sighs> it was really kind of warm in here, man. So I, I had my heater at uh, 76, and it still felt warm. So I put it down to 48. And that should do it. That should cool things off here a little bit. Anyways, um... You know, before I get started here and say what I need to say, good morning, Jedi, good afternoon, Micaela Cohen. Hopefully you're doing uh, better, Michelle. I saw you were sicky wiki. Hopefully you're doing better. Um, better best. There we go. Good morning, better. How are we doing? Anyways, um, good coffee. Good morning, Jedi, good afternoon, Elizabeth Ebra. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, I'm going to give you a little bit of lowdown here before I move forward. Um, of course, with the Money Mart Pond, Whose partnership with Double R Radio? Uh, it looks like everything's going to kick off more than likely next week. I should give you—I should have all the lowdown on everything once everything has been put together. Hopefully by Friday morning, I think we'll have everything going, and next week we'll get everything kicked off the way we want to do it. Good morning, Jedi. Good to Gloria Hernandez. Good morning, Gloria. How are we doing? Anyways, um, also one more thing. Uh, do not quote me on this yet. But um, I'm trying to do something, trying to put something together here for my radio station anniversary coming up. My radio station anniversary is coming up here in June. Um, I don't know if it's seven or eight years or ten years or twenty years. I lost count. But it's going to be an anniversary bash. Um, I'm still trying to put some things together on it. Uh, and we're going to find out. We're going to figure it out and we're going to see if, it, if, if this all happens to uh, do a celebration for my radio station anniversary coming up here in a couple of months. So look, I'll give you more lowdown about that as we get closer and as soon as I can nail down a couple of vital items that I want to nail down for the event and then I'll get back with you on that as well. There we go. Good morning, John. I'm going to have to double our radio sponsor, Mr. James Gonzalez, Money Mart Pawn Shop in the Casa. Good morning, brother. How we doing? Also, to me, Mr. Juan A. Gonzalez. Good morning, Juan. How we doing? Anyways, I tell you what. Let's see what's going on out here in this crazy, crazy world. Now, check this out. Crazy story. A Missouri police officer was told to tone down his gayness. And, uh, well, he, people aren't supposed to tell him that. And, well, he reached a settlement of $10 million and got a promotion. How crazy is his right to be a cop? I've never heard of this. To be a cop and to be gay, right? And his office told him, hey, dude, we understand you're gay, but try to tone it down a little bit. You know, take off the high heels and the skirt, and I think we'll, we should be okay. <laughs> right? Well, the, the cop didn't like it. He got a lawyer. He sued the police department in Missouri, and he won $10 million. Wow. Um, I wonder exactly what this police officer was doing where he was told to tone down his gayness. Huh. That's interesting. I'd like to know. Also, check this out. Now, this one here, although it's not a laughing matter, this kind of is. Um, we all know about coronavirus, right? We all know about coronavirus. That's like I'm staying away from corona beer. I want nothing to do with corona beer. I'm not drinking no coronas whatsoever. Ever again. Well, anyways, coronavirus. Cruise passengers who have been quarantined. Um, <laughs> you know, you can't make up stories like this. Anyways, let me get to my story. Um, coronavirus cruise passengers who are on a cruise ship and they've been quarantined inside the, the cruise ship are being offered free porn. <laughs> coronavirus, but to make things a little bit easier for you, they'll give you free porn. <laughs> hey, man. Woohoo! Okay, everybody, there's no coronavirus on this cruise ship. Everybody can exit. No, 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 you gotta go. No, no, turn off the porn. You gotta go. I don't know. No, 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 you gotta go. 
Hey, you want to stay? No, you got to go. Free porn? Somebody cut off the free porn. That's it. But how crazy to offer free porn to quarantine coronavirus cruise passengers. Doesn't make sense. Good morning, Chad. I got to Cynthia Gonzalez. I mean, this double R radio sponsor who's a little bit sicky. Hopefully, you get better, Cynthia. Alicia Gonzalez. Good morning, good morning, good morning. There we go. Deborah Camarillo, Anaheim, California. Good morning, Deborah. How are we doing? And double R radio sponsor, Deborah Camarillo. Let's see what else is going on here. Let's, let's get away from the porn stuff. Um, <laughs> that's funny, man. It really, really is. Um, now, let me tell you where I'm going to go now. You know, um, my grandbaby is always making fun of me. She says I'm old. She's always saying, Grandpa, you're old. All right. But can you let me borrow 20? I'm old, but she always wants to borrow 20 bucks. Now, scientists have come to the conclusion that uh, there are 10 reasons why dating an older man is actually the best thing for you ladies. I want you to listen up. And this is why dating an older man is a good thing for you. Listen up, ladies. I'm going to give you some good stuff here. There we go. Good morning, John. I'm going to have to Deanna Gonzalez, Odessa, Texas in the house. Good morning, Deanna. Sally Marie. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So now, I'm going to give you all, ladies, the 10 reasons why you all should date an older guy. One, because it's Robert Rivas. No, I'm just playing around. Um, here we go. <laughs> um, Ladies, these are the reasons why y'all should date an older man. I don't know how old y'all are, but date somebody older. If you're 70, pick somebody 80. If you're 50, get somebody 60. You know what I'm talking about. So anyways, um, an older man is more likely to talk about his feelings. A younger guy won't. Um, I don't know about this. When I was younger, I talked about my feelings. I, I told my wife, hey, uh, honey, I'm going out with the boys. That's just the way I feel. I talk about my feelings. Also, an older man can help you expand on your individuality. The hell does that mean? Who cares? Go make dinner. Also, an older man truly appreciates your indiv individual beauty. I love you, honey. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Yeah, yeah, just iron my shirt. Iron my shirt, please. <laughs> you're beautiful. You're even more beautiful while you're ironing. Honey, you're gorgeous. <laughs> An older man is your rock. Uh, as long as you took a Viagra. He will be your rock. That's right. An older man will be stipulated by your youth. I can agree with that. I got no problem with that. Going to the movies, one senior citizen... And one regular citizen right here. And there you go. And I'll appreciate. There you go. I can appreciate her youth. Also, an older man plans for the long term. Uh, I only plan for long term when I'm buying insurance. That's not the only time my life insurance. That's pretty much about it. An older man is a lot more attentive. Attentive? Yeah, an older man is a lot more attentive. Uh, okay. An older man is more respectful of exes. Like, let's say he's dating a woman and the woman's got two to the exes. The guy's not gonna get pissed off. He can't, he's too old. He can't kick ass anymore. What's he gonna say? I'll beat him up, he's too old. So anyways, that doesn't work. An older man uh, is more independent. As long as he's in a wheelchair, I, I, I think he's okay with that. And last but not least, older men have more experience under the sheets. Uh, uh, well, uh, <laughs> hey, <laughs> the only problem is they just can't take their pamper off. <laughs> That's the only problem there. Anyways, uh, what time is it? Uh, 8.36 in the morning. Let's keep it going. Mr. Bobby Polito. Good morning, Double R Radio. How we doing, everybody? It's the Wednesday morning, a uh, hump day, Wednesday, Benny R. Clark. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Mary Gonzalez, the Spanish Armada. Mary Gonzalez, good morning, Mary. Jimmy Huerta, good morning, good morning, good morning. Sylvia Solis, good morning, good morning, morning. Don't want to miss anybody here. Sally Marie, good morning. Tell you what, let's get back to the morning show. Join me now. RobertRevisRadio.com. It's that simple. RobertRevisRadio.com. Just click on that uh, media player button. It's all free. It doesn't cost a dime. Join me now. Orale.